Hey, what's up, good people? It's your boy, Larry Jones. I'm back. I was way at InvestFest. We'll talk about that later in the week. Hey, do us all a favor. Come join the family by hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I put this jacket on so you guys could see me, because if not, if I had a t-shirt on, I'd just be a floating head. Hey, just like always, never fall for spam in the comment section below. And anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell, all right? We got a lot to talk about. Coin is going to be reporting at closing bell. I'm going to be editing this one and try to get this one up in a timely fashion. But we're going to go over a few things that happen and then we're going to get to coin. Uh, I'm going to edit it by the time you guys see it. Um, and we're going to see what uh, CNBC is talking about. Coin is big for you uh, crypto holders. Um, I believe that they'll probably have a miss. Um, and uh, not just me. It's, it's like it's, they're not going to knock the ball out of the park. Crypto has been going down. So I expect some downward uh uh, pressure on the stock coin. Okay. But I want to talk about more crypto at the end of this, because I think that this is a good time to be accumulating. Let's go over a few things and we'll get right to that. So first they, uh, the inflation reduction act was voted on. That was this past weekend, uh, blah, 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 blah. They passed it. Uh, and it's expected to go to the house of course. And then the president will sign it. Right. As a matter of fact, that's already in play uh, and it affected solar stock. All right. So solar stock, when this first came out, the solar stock pumped and then they pulled back. Right. Then uh, today being Tuesday, now we had NVIDIA and NVIDIA went down. NVIDIA went down uh, because the gaming uh, era or the gaming market is not doing that good. It's just kind of pulling back. Remember, when everybody was locked up, everybody was gaming. Grown men sitting in, you know, their mama's basement gaming all day. You know how y'all do it out there. I'm just joking. But now people are back out traveling. Travel is ridiculous. And uh, gaming is going down. And so NVIDIA took the rest of the chip um, um, market down. As a matter of fact, the president of the United States just passed the chip, this new chip bill, right? Not good. See here, I got a few of them here. Nvidia, Intel, uh, AMD, look at that. MU, uh, Micron, Qualcomm, look at this. They're all down, almost 4%, 2.5, uh, 45 Look at this, they're all down. Even after the president signed this chip bill. So because of the lowering demand because of supply chains they can't get the chips you know the whole taiwan situation the chips act was supposed to bring the jobs here but you and i know we're talking a long time before they can manufacture chips uh, i want you to google how long it takes to manufacture a chip if the cpi numbers are really bad if inflation is really bad and it tanks nvidia and amd uh, I'm going to start buying. So I'm saying it right now before I do it. I will start buying. I'm not going in heavy. I believe that we still have some, but I'm going to start dollar cost averaging uh, into those more. I've been dollar cost averaging into NVIDIA. Meme stock, you guys know, uh, uh, AMC, uh, GameStop, uh, BB, uh, um, Bath and Body Works. All right, not BBIG, but Bath and Body Works. All of those, you know what? All of those short squeeze potential stock plays ran up, right? AMC ran up uh, huge. They all cooled off today, but they all ran up. So if you're an ape, you know, leave me an ape sign. Uh, my wife was mad at me because one of her portfolios had nothing but an AMC in it. Now, I'm not telling you to buy AMC. You guys know I've been holding AMC actually since the end of 2020. And then I bought more in 2021 before the whole uh, squeeze came up. And then I bought a little more for the calls, not based on the fundamentals, but just for the calls. Right. So that's what we're doing right here and right now. So let's look at what um, coin is going to do. And we'll be 
We'll come right back. Total revenue coming in at $808 million. That was also a miss. It was down 31% compared to the prior quarter. Total revenue down more than 64% from a year ago. It also talks here about transaction-based revenue. That was down significantly, as well as trading volume, about 53% from a year ago. $217 billion when it comes to that trading volume. And uh, the majority of that came from the institutional side here. We talk a lot about the mix. $46 million of that was from retail trading. Also talking here about operating expenses up about 8%, a net loss for the quarter of $1.1 billion. They say that was heavily impacted by an impairment charge, essentially an accounting charge for the loss they took on the price of Bitcoin. It's uh, We've seen it with Tesla and some of the other companies that hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They say that added about $450 million to that total loss number. Monthly transacting users also down about 2% from the prior quarter. We did get some July numbers, though. They don't give full guidance. But the July numbers, uh, they say MTUs dropped to about $8 million from $9 million in the prior quarter. They talk about the soft crypto market conditions. Continuing, that is reflected in the Q3 outlook here that we're still looking through. They admit this was a tough quarter, and they say the decline in crypto asset prices significantly impacted results. They say that was consistent with some of the outlook they provided back in May. They point to the volatility in this business in general, very much tied to crypto markets. They also point to risk management, though. They say they were not exposed to some of the liquidity issues we've seen on the lending uh, side. Here. You know, with uh, Coinbase, with Roblox, with, I mean, Allbirds yesterday, I mean, the class of 2020 and 2021 for IPOs and public listings has not been really, uh, sh you know, shining here. No, it, it, it is not. And I don't know um, how you could find any evidence to suggest that any of these companies are going to reestablish some of the glory that we witnessed uh, just 20 months ago. So, you know, this this report for Coinbase, when you look at it, you think about the relationship with BlackRock. OK, what does that give you? It just gives institutional investors of BlackRock exposure, opportunity to trade Bitcoin. Doesn't mean that they're actually going to do that. So I think there has to be uh, bullish momentum that once again presents itself for Ethereum, for Bitcoin and the entirety of crypto to get excited about uh, going back as an investor in Coinbase. Excitement follows prices, volume follows the excitement. That's pretty much been the formula. So you guys heard that. So Coin uh, did just what we thought it would do. Let's look at what it's doing after hours. As we can see, Coin was already down 10%. And then after hours, down another three and a quarter percent. Um, I expect it to continue to go down uh, based on that news. I wasn't a buyer of Coin. It was grossly overpriced at the IPO. You guys remember that was following me that I said, hey, we're going to stay away from this anytime those stock go that crazy. And um, right. still, I'm not buying any coin. It's just not a, it's just not a play for me. I would rather buy the crypto on coin, but I'm not buying coin. All right. So let's end this by talking about crypto. Here's the deal. I, I disagree with the gentleman um, and uh, and agree with him uh, that talked about coin. Here's what I think. Remember, anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. But I think that crypto as a whole is here to stay. I've been saying it forever in a day. They will regulate stablecoin. And when they regulate, by the time they regulate stablecoin, the truth be told, I think it's going to be, you, you can still make money. I think you should uh, start buying at that point. But I think you will be actually late. Now is the time. This is me. I am accumulating crypto. Uh, even if you do the $5 a day play with crypto also, I'm accumulating crypto all through crypto winter, through the entire crypto winter. When the next bull cycle happens, I'm cool with whatever it is. And I'm not worried about how low it goes from this point. Because when Bitcoin goes up to $100,000, it won't matter if you bought it at $23,000 or $17,000 if it's $100,000 $100, per Bitcoin. It won't matter at that point. But what you need to do is plan out. Now, I am uh, just brutally honest by saying this to you guys that are just in the crypto. I would not be just in crypto. As a matter of fact, myself at my age, I'm only 20% crypto. I'm the rest in stock market. So I 
implore you to diversify because some of these stocks are going to be way safer and are going to perform well like some SOME of these cryptos, especially the layer ones. So I implore you to diversify and to get into some stocks. But for those of you that are older and are stock owners, I would treat crypto like a penny bank and start with the layer ones. Okay. You know, you guys, I, I said it over and over and over again. I'm not going to bore you again. Uh, you just, you just need to have some layer ones, you know, and just dollar cost average in, just treat it like a penny bank. And as a matter of fact, when they announce uh, crypto regulation, especially on stable coins, I'm going to double down the amount of crypto that I'm buying. All right. So that's my plan. Leave me a comment and let me know what you plan to do with crypto and or stocks. OK. And remember, the CPI numbers come out tomorrow morning. The consumer price index numbers come out tomorrow morning. Uh, I will try to go live. Make sure that you check out uh, my two links. OK. Make sure you check out my two links uh, in the bio uh, beneath because they're giving away free stuff. Um, Weeble is actually giving you free stock for depositing one dollar. And I want you to click uh, my link and see what they're giving away. That is Weeble. Weeble's where we're going to be dollar cost averaging into um, my top five. I'm going to share that with you. OK, that's what I want you to do with Weeble and then Moo Moo. As you could see, 10 free stock. I think you get six free stock. You need to start with Moo Moo with one hundred dollars. OK, deposit one hundred dollars and then go from there. You can deposit a little more and get up to 10 free stock. As you, as you can see, with up to twenty five hundred dollars worth of free stock. Right. I am out of breath because I ran down here. Good people. Y'all know I keep it real with you. I apologize for being out of breath, but I will see you tomorrow morning uh, with the CPI numbers. Make sure you click the links below. Live, love, laugh and learn.